Hello there everyone, welcome again, Joe Marshall here, to games I should have finished. Yes. Yes. This is Metroid, part two. Welcome. You'll be seeing this also on the Monday, December 1st. The next video will be on December 3rd, as I'm going to do Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays of the first game, and Tuesdays and Thursdays of the second. That way I can always make sure I've got enough videos to keep playing. If I just do an hour every day, that's not so bad. I think this is the top. Let's check. So my voice will be pretty bad, but if I only record an hour every day, then I hopefully won't lose my voice completely. Oh, time to edit. Sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, if I do an hour every day, Hopefully my voice won't be shot completely, and that'll be good. So let's go through here. I think this is the right one. At least there's a missile door over here, so... This might be the way to Tower 4. Let's actually go back, because I'm not convinced. There are towers above other towers that you can't get to. I guess you'd call it like Shaft 2 of Tower 1. This is Tower 1. You need to go down here until we get to this one. Pretty sure. Because this is the... The, the Chozo statue theme. Come on, you wee bastard. Get out here. There we go. Thanks for the seven... Oh, that's only worth five. Pooey. Oh. Down to half a tank. I press select and go. Right. Those missiles are good. Let's get this. This is long beam, right? Ow! You got the thingy and it is an L. Then I can shoot all the way. Right. Go this way. I need the bombs. So, let's. Now we shoot a long beam. It goes all the way over the screen. This thing's great. That's the turbo button again. I could probably tap that quick. Okay, that's me tapping. You can you can tell because it's more rhythmic. Oh, oh that's worth 20. I think the dot in the middle is bigger. Not so much the purple. I get two missiles back for a missile recharge. I need another one somewhere. Let's go back up now then. So, tower one. Tower 1, second from top door, complete. Apart from the morph ball bit, which I'll go back and do when I have the bombs. So I might make a mental checklist. I might make a map of my own and try checking off things I've done. Right, Tower 1, top. Let's go. Top left. Let's start doing this shit. Right, shoot that one. Now we need to farm up a bit of missiles. There we go. There's some missiles. And some health, I think. Sometimes it tricks me. The game is a tricksy bitch. Sometimes it gets me. Right, because I think it, I think it's going to give me one for free and it doesn't. Right, that'll do. Let's get into the second tank so at least I have something to play with. And that way I don't feel in constant danger of death. That it's also just nice to get these guys out of the way. By doing this. Because things don't spawn when uh there's stuff in the way. Because of sprite limits. Only time where sprite limits is a great thing for me. Because it means that you can get away with doing more things. Right, there's the missile door, let's shoot. Go through here. Missiles are the only weapon you get that need to kill. Ah! Okay, so this is the final bit of the game. Once you've killed these two, a bridge will appear. So that's what top tower left does. Got it. Right. Now I need to find new missile doors again. Thank you for the health. Mmm. Actually, I'm, I'm full of shit, and I don't know what the difference between the 5 and the 25 
health does at all? I have no idea. I can't tell the difference, anyway. I need to see two boss side by side to get a real picture of what the difference is. Right. That one's worth 20. Nah, there is no difference. It's just worth different values, I guess. Okay, well, that's easy for me to know then. There's not something I'm missing. Ow. Yeah, they do respect priority that you are on top of them and therefore they won't spawn, but you do need to be right on top of it. Yeah, that hit me because it gets stuck in the door. I could probably shoot my way out of it, but anyway. Let's go top right hand door, which is actually down here. Which leads into tower two, correct? Let's make sure the bottom is the, the yeah, I already did that. The bottom is the start of the game, so we need to go this way. Tower two. Let's go to the bottom first, I'm thinking. We'll go to the bottom left first, unless it's a right hand door, in which case we go right, obviously. That makes sense. Ah, okay, so it's a right hand door, let's go right. And see what we have to find here. Attack me if you dare. Oh, mighty smiter. Aha! They're no match for my beam powers. Okay. So there's another farming point here. The game does give you a lot of farming points, which is nice. Although the rate at which they give you... Ow. The rate at which they give you health can be heavily diminished. Pretty much based on how the game's feeling at that point. You know what I mean? Like that priority there. It, it, in some games that would have been enough, but because I wasn't exactly on top of it, it wasn't enough. But there you go. This is helpful for tips for people who aren't me. Because people who actually might want to play the game. And that's kind of the hope. Some people, some kids, some people of different ages might see the game and be like, you know what? I actually want to try this game out for myself. I want to give Nintendo some of my money. So, try it out. The games are worth playing, it's like nostalgia. The reason why this game uh, series is called Gitter is because to be a true gamer, you need a wide a, a wide and versatile library of games that you've played. And this is one of those games that I feel like I could not happily be calling myself a person who plays games all the time. Gamer is kind of a label I don't like, but this is the Norfair teleporter. I don't want to be here. I've done this twice already. We'll start a count of all the times I go to Norfair by mistake. This is twice. Um, so yes. There are, there have been times where I like calling myself a gamer, but labels, they're a bit difficult. Let's talk about that. This, 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 this episode's gonna be called, it's gonna be about labels. All this, I'm not very well versed on things that happen in the games media today, because I try not to be involved. There's so much negative negativity going on in the real world, let alone the video game world, so I don't want to be involved in that. But what I do know is that labelling people is never a good thing ever, unless they choose to be labelled as something. If you identify as something, that's fine, but other people labelling you as something is not so good. At least in my personal experience. Again, you might tell me to do one. I might be completely wrong, and that's fine. But, um, I think that all this stuff going on in the, in the media today, there, what's the real point of it? <laughs> Is there a real point to it? Or are we just picking up a fuss for no reason because we have nothing else to do with our lives? Sometimes I, have, I wonder about that. Are we really doing something constructive with our lives or are we just making mountains out of molehills because that's what we do as the human race? What do you think? Let me know. What do you think about the whole Gamergate SJW shit? Do you think it's pointless and just detrimental to the industry, or do you think there is some validation to it and we need to be more transparent in the media? Now, that's something I certainly agree with. I do like having discussions about topics. There's, it's just when people get upset or uh, start going personal with their insults when they don't agree with your opinion that I don't like it. That's when I choose to sign out. But I'm all for discussion. Then leave a comment. You don't have to, but if you want to, leave a comment and tell me about it and I will speak. I do my best to respond to everything, so... 
Yes, that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway, back to Metroid. These people are pretty annoying. I can't remember what the platforms are called. I know that they're gamers, the little um, Borley guys. I think they're called gamers. But um, besides that, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see how far we can go up and then try and go up and left if we can. Okay, so this is the furthest we can go. There was a green room that I didn't want to be in. I think this is the other one, which is where I'm, I'm going to go now. So the frame rate really dips and dives and docks and dodges. I think there's a clone of a different room. I don't think this is the same room, although it might be. <laughs> it might be another count of Joe goes into the same room again thinking it's a different room. Ah, it's the di it is a different No, it is the same. God darn it. Sometimes you get in trouble because you do the same things over and over again. So, but Metroid is a game where you try and think to yourself, what can I do now that I couldn't do before? And one of those things that I can do now that I couldn't do before is go to the right and find missile doors. I went down to the bottom of Tower 2, and that's a dead end. That goes to Norfair. I might need to go to Norfair, actually, but we'll see. Uh, this is Tower 3. Nearly. Ow. I'm, I'm kind of bad at avoiding these things. I mean, they all follow very easy to follow patterns, but I struggle. It feels good, though, when you do get it right. Gotta say. There are also games on all sorts of systems that I need to finish. So this series could go on forever. Not just Metroid, but all sorts of games. So like I said, any games you think need to be played to be classified as a person who is a true connoisseur of games, you let me know. 2015 could be the year that I make a real difference and actually become something on the internet. I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think? I'm all about trying to get better handling constructive criticism and hopefully I can do something about it. Obviously there's some things I can't change, for example, get a better mic. I've already got the best mic I could afford at the time and get a better webcam. I'm not using my webcam right now because there's not much point, but in the future I definitely will. We've already played for 10 minutes, it doesn't feel like that. It's 9.54am for me, so I'm doing this bright and early. And I feel like if I start the day with recording every day, that's easy. I can do that. And then do some editing for an hour or something. That sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Right, this is the bottom of Tower 3. But there must be something in Tower 3 that I've missed. I think. And if not, then we'll go to Norfair. And Episode 3 will start with us going to Norfair. Or the equivalent of Norfair. I don't know if it actually is. It might just be a bit more of a criteria. Right. This could be good. No. You trolls. Oh, I can shoot up. Oh, I forgot about that. It's actually really useful. That would help a lot in my killing of the enemies. Things you can do that and really ruin their day. Right. Come on, buddies. Out the way. Fuck sakes. Okay, missile door. Good, I have missiles. Eh, ow. That's the, that's the universal noise for you done fucked up, that isn't the right thing to use on that door, you bellend. Sweet. Probably hear my controller clicking, I make sure I get it exactly right. What's this? This is... Awful bombs. Sweet. That opens up a whole new area for me. Press the button. Bombs happen. You can bomb... Uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. You can morph ball bomb jump too. Although not that well in this game. There's nothing through here it doesn't look like. So let's keep going. We got morph ball bombs. So now what we can do is go up to tower two right hand side and get through that area. It should be nice. 
This is like a five second clip of music, which would get annoying pretty quick, so I'll try and get out as fast as possible. I like it, but some people might not. This guy's stuck. He doesn't know what to do with his life. Okay. Oh, that was close. I'm glad we got that sorted out. Anyway, let's go through here. The top of this tower is inaccessible, isn't it? Yes. Right, so that's as far as we can go for now. The morph ball bombs, there's nothing over further to the right. This is as far as we go. This tower also isn't very long, it's pretty short. If you discount the ice beam bit. So instead of going to North Fair, what we're going to do instead is we're going to start episode 3, which will be on Wednesday, like I've said before, December 3rd. Um, I will be starting on this part part with the green area where you need the morph ball bombs to get through. Use the boost to get through. Ah. Okay, sweet. I'm also getting Smash Bros today, so you might see some videos of that, although I don't think I can do 60 frames per second, which is annoying. 30 frames will have to do. I think this is one of those areas where if I use the bombs, something good will happen. Ha! Okay. This is like Tower 2.5. Secret Tower. Full of secrets. Uh, what the hell? What is this? Dragonflies or something. Okay. I should really know all the names, because I've played Metroid Prime and scanned all the things. But, oh well. Ah, another missile door. Sweet. What's in here? It is... Oh, it's a thing that I don't know. Is that the ice beam? It might be. Uh, let's see. Let's try and freeze some things. It is the ice beam. Ah. Splendid. So now we've got the ice beam, which is really cool because we can get that much later in the game. And I could have been lost completely as to where to get it. So now I can explore the rest of Tower 3 too, but I'm not going to do that. What I'll do for now is just keep doing what I was going to do. So pretend that we didn't get this. This didn't happen. This tower's pretty short too, isn't it? This is the end. Okay. The tower 2.5 is clear. I've got the ice beam, that's all I ever needed to get from here, so... Ding ding! Right. How do I get out? Uh... Oh, I can jump on it. And then jump out again. Yeah, that's it. As long as you are out. Not an idiot, like me. You can get out pretty easily. I might have to... Stop the video here and then get out and then resume and I'm out. My background just changed. It's pretty cool. Come on, you bastard. Jump. Hi, jump. Aha! You did it. <laughs> well, that happened. At least with this, you get a sort of rest period where you can shoot things a lot easier because they're stuck, which is nice. We'll end the video as soon as we get out of this room into the next tower, because I need to get up to the right-hand side of Tower 2. This is going very well. I thought I'd be more nervous going into back into recording again, but this is alright. I'm enjoying myself, which is the main thing. And hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. I'm not the sort of person to like or whatever, but if you do enjoy the video, why not let me know you like it? Leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Well, I say I don't care, I do care, but... It, it's best for me not to dwell on it, you know. If people don't subscribe, that should not be a level of my self-worth, you know, that sort of thing. But, if you do enjoy the videos, why not? There are worse things you could be doing with your life, surely. You could be doing crack, or heroin, or something like that. Although, not to say that people who do drugs are bad people. 
They might just be misguided. You never know. Best to stop talking about things I know nothing about. Hey. Let's do this. Kill these guys. I'm just trying to get some health right now. You might be like, Joe, but the video. The videos are going over. Jo Joe, please. The video is so long. Anyway, that's it. We're into hour two. The next time, we'll go to the bit up there. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.